Jess. If you're new here, then welcome. And guys, if you've been with me for a while, thank you for coming back. So these are general readings, and that means they will not resonate for everyone out there. So please just take what's meant for you and then leave the rest behind for someone else. It is energy, and that means the roles could be reversed. So if you need to flip-flop the roles around in order for it to resonate, please use, please use your discretion, but feel free to do so. As always, information for scheduling a personal reading is in the description box below. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weekly check-ins are uploaded, you will be notified and you can come hang out with us. So Archangels and guides, please deliver very clear messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Sagittarius. So Sag... Ooh, throwing cards on the floor. All right, Sagittarius, as we do, if I can manage to, you know, keep the cards on the table, we are going to do our October mid-monthly love reading. And I don't know why, but I always love doing the mid-month, so I'm really excited about it. I'm going to just get started. Archangels and guides, please, clear messages with a very clear understanding. Show me what's going on with my Sagittarius for the rest of October. Sagittarius in love, what is their situation? What is their energy like from now to the end of October? What messages need to come through? And may the messages that need to be come or come through come. And may they please find those who need to hear them. One more shuffle for you, Sagis. Very clear messages, please, with a very clear understanding. My beautiful Sagittarius now through the rest of October. All right, let's see what we have for you. I do feel like Sagittarius, this is somebody that you've had an ending with. I feel like a lot of your readings have been about this. So I feel like it doesn't matter how long um, it's been ended, whether it's been a day or a year. If that's, if you guys are still very heavily connected or one person hasn't, you know, fully released or both of you, you know, that energy can still linger. So definitely the situation of the ex, I believe. But we're gonna we're gonna get more into it. that's just first glance. So your energy that is supporting this reading is the death card, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio, doesn't have to be. There's pretty much every sign here on the table right now. So it could be any sign. Um so I feel like this is the death and rebirth. So it does represent endings, but it also represents transform transformations. It represents uh, the rising, you know, the phoenix rising, the rising after the loss, the come up, so to speak. So the death card isn't just an ending. It's so much more than that. And I feel like this is really encompassing all of that. I feel like this is about that whole process. It's not just about the fact that there was an ending here. So I do feel like regardless about how the connection was, I do feel like there was a level of toxicity in it and whether the relationship was great and then just the ending was toxic or whether there was some toxic behaviors, you know, or tendencies throughout the whole relationship, it's going to resonate differently for everyone out there. But I do really feel like there was at some point, whether it was just at the ending or whether it was throughout the whole connection, there was a level of toxicity here. We do have the devil card in the recent past, and I, I'm, I'm really picking that up. For a lot of you, I feel like it only got really bad towards the end, um, and that, the, you know, beginning of the relationship wasn't bad. But for some of you, I feel like 
you know, it could have been more than that. And I do kind of such tears. I feel like you wanted to just keep your options open. I feel like you wanted to have other options because, you know, this person just, maybe they just weren't for you or maybe because of the toxicity there, maybe you were starting to see that. Whatever it was, I feel like you just wanted to have other options. You wanted to see what else was out there. I feel like you gave up on this connection. So that's in the current now. This is you not wanting to fight for it. This is you giving up on it. Um, you don't want to put anything else into this connection with this person. And I do feel like you guys have been separated for kind of a while for the majority of you. And it's like, you know what? There's got to be something better for me out there than this. Like this, this toxic person cannot be, you know, the only person for me. There's got to be better options. So I feel like this is you kind of giving up on this person. Giving up on this connection. Giving up on wanting to put more effort into it. I feel like your person, they're showing up as the full card. So I feel like, I feel like they do want to, um, but it does have, the full has so many different energies with it. Good energies, beautiful energies, but it also has some negative energies as well. And I feel like this is definitely the more negative side, especially being paired with the devil here. I'm really feeling like this is them being like, consequences be damned I want to make this work I want you and they don't care that they're jumping off and there's nothing there to catch and they don't care that it's toxic between the two of you um they just they want what they want and they don't care about whether it's good for you they don't care whether it's good for them they don't they don't care about any of that they just that's a lot of you know the toxicness but I feel like in their heart in their heart, they want to get themselves together and they want to offer you the commitment. But like I said, I don't feel like this. I don't think this person might be the most stable Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot of toxic stuff involved with them right now. And the way that they're all looking at this, like, I don't even care if it's good for us. This is what I want. And, you know, that's not healthy in itself. In their heart, they have good intentions, but it's still very unhealthy. I feel like you recognize that because you don't want to put anything else into this Sagittarius and... You got the Page of Cups in reverse, so I feel like you're no longer wanting to offer anything. You don't want to give them your love. You want to just, you know that there's got to be something better for you out there. But I do feel like you did love this person at one point, at least. So I feel like seeing them in this toxicness, seeing the fact that they're reaching out, that they want you, um, I feel like this is a harder situation for you because it's leaving you feeling very dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. And I do feel like part of it is just a little bit of being alone, too. Like, you know that this person isn't good for you, but you love them. You know, maybe sometimes you're like, maybe it's better to be with somebody than nobody. But at the same time, then I feel like your reasoning comes in and you think about all the stuff that you've been through with this person. And you're like, it's just not worth it. It's just not good for either one of us. I just can't do it. But that is, that is kind of heavy. And it does. It leaves you feeling really just lonely and dissatisfied. Your person, they want things to move forward with you. They want things to progress. They want, they want things to the, to get better. But I think you know that even though they have good intentions, it's not something that's really going to happen. I feel like there's been too much here, and there's still too much unhealthiness tied to this. And I think you are able to see that Sagittarius, but I'm not sure your person is. You see this person as someone who's still very stuck, someone who is still who needs a new perspective, somebody who is still in the same cycle, the same habits, the same routines, who hasn't really changed that much. You can still see this toxic name. You still see that they, they don't even care about what's good for them, that they just want what they want. And they, you know that they're still a little stuck in where they're at mentally, emotionally, spiritually, as well as on you. So they see you as somebody who's given up hope. Somebody who isn't going to, you know, go on this path with them, who isn't going to do this with them, who isn't going to try, who isn't going to wait for them, who isn't any of it. They see it as the three of wands in reverse. So I definitely feel like they know that you're not going to do this with them. I really am proud of you, Sagittarius. I really am. Because your action is the page of swords in reverse. I do feel like you're going to stop communication with this person. I do feel like you're going to stop checking on their social medias or whatever, asking about them. I really do feel like you're going to try to 
you know, cut them out as completely as you can because you see that it's not good for you. And you see that it's not really good for your person either. It's, it's not really allowing them to move forward. And they're willing to just throw caution to the wind and do things that are not healthy for them. And you recognize that that's not healthy for you or for them. And you care about that. So your person, they're very, their action is the nine of cups in reverse. So one, they're not really getting what they're one they want. Um, and it's also the energy of being really unhappy with who you are as a person and where you're at on your own. And that is not where we want to be when we get into a relationship. We want to be in the Knight of Cups upright. It's kind of like you got to collect all, all the cups before you can get to the Ten of Cups. And I feel like this is what that is. And that's why I feel like you have the Ten of Cups in reverse is because you know that while with this person being in the Nine of Cups in reverse, you cannot have the Ten of Cups upright. So I feel like you know that it's just not going to work. I feel like you know that your person is not in a good state, a good place, and that you can't have the connection that you want and the life that you want with this person because they're not okay on their own. They still have stuff they have to work through. They definitely still have some toxic, codependent, you know, maybe even deeper stuff. Could be drugs, could be alcohol, whatever. They still have issues that they have to work with. Um, work out and you can't put yourself into that and it's not really helping you or them and I feel like that's why your mutual energy is the Hierophant so this is just lessons this is you've learned a lot of lessons and you've gained a lot of growth like you have the fact that you're willing to stop communicating with this person for their best good and for yours the fact that you're not willing to just throw caution to the wind and say screw it because because I'm sad, because I'm lonely, because I miss them, because I'm by myself. Like the fact that you you know that there's better options for you out there. And the fact that you're not willing to put yourself or somebody else through that just because you're lonely or sad or because you miss them. Like that is that takes strength. And I'm so proud of you, Sagittarius. And like I said, I do really feel like you will be stopping the communication. You've gotten a lot of lessons from this. The hair font is all about lessons learned. And that's why I feel like it's shown up as the mutual because your person, they still have a lot of lessons to learn. They do. They really haven't fully learned their lessons or started working on their healing. They need to really get this Nine of Cups to an upright position before they should even be considering any kind of relationship, Sag. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you know you can't have the connection that you want and deserve with this person. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is you not giving them any love this is you um kind of losing not losing some of the love but losing the passion the depth of the love that you have for this person i feel like this is you letting this person go because you know it's what's best for you and i feel like you know it's what's best for them too all right sagittarius let's pull some angel romance oracle cards for you i guess i'm going to take a peek at this and see what's coming in so yeah, this person, I feel like they're talking to more than one person anyways, and they're not being very honest about where they're at and how they're doing. They will be feeling a little bit left out in the cold by you. You know, I feel like when you cut them off, and they're still going to hold on to this for quite a bit, but it's because they're not able to see that. I feel like you might end up actually blocking this person too, Sagittarius, um, just because you have to, because of how persistent they will be. All right. So we're going to pull some Angel Romance Oracle cards for you now. Archangels and guides, spirits and ancestors, what messages can we please give my beautiful Sagittarius in this situation? Anything hopeful, anything encouraging, any messages that they need to know? What messages can we give them? Is there any new stuff coming in? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So yeah, Spirit's just giving you confirmation that this person is not in a good, healthy place. And I do feel like you know that, Sagittarius, but this is just that confirmation that there's definitely unhealthy, there's some unhealthy things going on here. I love it when Spirit gives confirmation. It's like if there was any doubt, they're going to make sure there isn't now. Let's see what else we got. You deserve love. You are lovable. So Spirit is saying, oh my goodness, I just felt it so strongly. Like, please understand that even though it's not working with this person, 
even though this person and you can't be together. And that means you might be by yourself for a while. Please understand that you deserve a magnificent love. Please understand that you deserve a love that... And it's very overwhelming feelings. It's going to make me tear up a little bit. You deserve all the love, the kind of love that you want to give to people. I feel like Sagittarius, you're always such a good friend. You're really there for the people that you love. You're there for the people that you care about. You try to give them attention. You try to give them support. And you deserve a relationship where they give that back to you. You deserve a relationship where they appreciate you for exactly who you are. And if you cannot have that with this person, the spirit seeing you deserve that. And hold on to those standards. Hold on to knowing that you deserve that love. And once we know what we deserve, it will come for us. Because it's a part of our identity. It's a part of our beliefs. And you deserve that you de you believe that you deserve a magnificent, grand love. And it will come in for you, Sagittarius. All right, we're going to pull you some... Ooh, that was beautiful energy, guys. All right, we're going to pull you some Moonology cards. What, moon what Moonology messages spirit can we give to my beautiful Sagittariuses to help them throughout the rest of October? What messages can we give my Sagittarius? Be bold and make the first move. So Sagittarius, I feel like some of you will be, like I said, keeping your options open, putting yourself back out there. Don't be afraid to be bold and make the first move. Just because it didn't work out with this person doesn't mean it's not going to. Like I said, I feel like Spirit's saying there's a love that's really grand and worth everything that you deserve and it's coming for you. But be bold and make the first move. Put yourself back out there. I do feel like you will be having options. And your commitment is being tested at first quarter moon. And I just heard in my mind, I just heard, you promised yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you, you promised yourself you were never going to go back to this. Maybe not specifically this person. For a lot of you, I do feel like you did promise yourself you weren't going to go back to this person. But for some of you, it's you promised yourself you were never going to put yourself through a situation like this again. That you weren't going to settle anymore. Whatever it is that you promised yourself. That's what Spirit's saying. You promised yourself. And your commitment to that promise is being tested. That's why this person is still coming through. The universe is trying to see, did you really mean it? Did you really mean it when you said that you weren't going to go in these situations? Did you really mean it when you said you were going to do what was best for you over what you wanted? Did you really mean it when you made your promises to yourself? So your commitment is being tested here, Sagittarius, but I do believe that you are going to pass. I really do. All right. Now, let's get us some Archangel Oracle cards. I love these. So we are going to ask the Archangels that are guiding you and watching over you for the rest of October what message they have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and guide my beautiful Sagittarius's for the rest of October, what message would you have to help them the very most? As you watch over and guide my beautiful Sagittarius's, what message would you have for them that would help them the very most? All right, let's see what we have. Clear your space. Archangel Japhael, get rid of clutter. Clearly energy around you. Use Feng Shui. So it's super important that we declutter our house, our space, because it is a part of our aura. It is an extension of us. And when we do that, we feel so much better. That is why after you, you know, super clean your house and you sit there and you just feel wonderful. And this is why. Um, it's an extension of us. So if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and cluttered, and I feel like there's a lot going on with you with this situation. I feel like it's stressing you out. This is one of the things you're saying. Just clean your space. I know it sounds silly but it will make you feel better it will help you relax more it will give you some space to like when you do the dishes or when you shower how your mind kind of just wanders and is kind of free from all of this give yourself that that I'm trying to think of the word but give yourself that privilege of just getting to be mindless for a little bit and to have your space be free and clear and spread your wings archangel ariel do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So even if this feels like this is holding you back and you can't know where to go from here, push through. It is time. Spread your wings. Soar. Go find out. Go put yourself out there. Find what is meant for you. Be forceful in your commitment to yourself. Be forceful in your direction. 
You guys absolutely got this. I really love this reading for you. I love that you're being so strong. I love that you're learning these lessons and you're actually transforming. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said that I felt like the death card in this situation was more than just an ending. This is you transforming. After this ending, you went through it. You went through it. You went through the grief. You went through the loss. You went through the struggles. You went through the lessons. And this is you coming out the other side a different person. I am in love with this. All right. If this resonated for you and you're going through a hard time and you would like me to pray for you personally, just send me the little prayer emoji in the comments and I will pray for you personally. If it didn't resonate, I'm sorry, it's just not your message. Please check out your other sign placement videos. And guys, if you feel called to do so, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm sending you guys all kinds of love and light. Till next time, bye.